Alright, gonna take a line from Stephen King's uh, Langoliers miniseries and say that We got the solution to our problem! I have the solution to our problem! I needed to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. There had to be a way to save them. To save Fi and K. Their head. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. I knew it! Give it back! I found it, so it's mine. Of course. The antidote. The antidote? I didn't have time to explain. I took off running toward the exit. Alright, we gotta find the Neostigmine! Sigma! Where are you going? Not Neostigmine, but Neostigmine! Stay here! I'll be right back! I pulled out of the warehouse. Toward the treatment room. Alright. Today we're gonna be making some progress. Alright, treatment center, treatment center. I hope that Dio has still has the new stigmine. I think Dio put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on. I still have it. Sweat was pouring down my face. But I didn't bother to wipe it off. There wasn't time. I dug frantically through Kyo's code until... Aha! Success! Take that, no nerdy game! We are making some more progress today! The problem is, this can only be used on one person though, right? Yes. Yeah, hold on a second. Phi and K can use the bracelets themselves to get in, and Sigma can be the only one left behind for him to use the Neostigmine, right? Eh, this should still work. Found it. Oh. There's only one dose. The injection gun uses the whole bottle at once. Shit. I cannot save both of them. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. One minute? Oh shit! Run back, Stigma! Go! Go! Shit! I spun around and shot out of the treatment center. Three, two, one. Chromatic doors closing. No. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, what kind of a sick joke is this? I thought that this would be the solution to our problem. But I guess time has beaten us once again. Then what the fuck was the What's the point of this? Oh dear. Sigma. And there was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist. Barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins. But I knew it was there. First would be an anesthetic soap reel. I blinked, and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out internally as I crumpled to the floor. Uh, no. 
No. I can fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet injected me with turbocurian. With every ounce of strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back open. Can't find a limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand, I could feel the injector gun with its precious cargo. I can only pull the trigger once. What was I going to choose? Phi or K? No. What was I thinking? There was only one answer. Phi. I didn't even have a choice. After all, K's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal. Sorry, K. I summoned up as much energy as I could and dragged myself toward Fi. After what felt like an eternity, I was finally within arm's reach. With no time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. I injected it with neostigmine. It's a type of chlorinerastorase inhibitor. It's the antidote to the muscle relaxant. Why did you pick me? Because I cannot use the injection gun on K. It would never get through the metal. Then why didn't you inject yourself? Guess you got a point. Honestly, didn't even cross my mind. You're the biggest idiot on the planet. I think we already established that a long while ago, fine. Hey, come on. Is there any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? How about something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means <laughs> being in debt <laughs> to you. You know, come on, what does what are you trying to say here, Fi? No goddamn way. I'm not gonna Oh god damn it, you better You better live after this, god damn it. Fi. Don't make our sacrifice in vain. Her words slurred and slowed, and her eyes fluttered close. She wasn't dead, of course. I could hear the faint sound of her breathing, and see her chest rise and fall. Good. Fi's gonna be alright. But, okay. I looked over in his direction, and that was when I noticed it. Hmm? Open. There's a hole here, on the back of your head. Yeah, it looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there... You could open up the suit and take the mask off. Wait. Then he... But when could he have... How he gotten it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter was that Kay had been able to remove his armor. That's right. It changed. The line on the back of his helmet is directed to the, to the word open. Which means that he was able to remove it. And he had...
Oh. Holy shit. No, no, no. Don't tell me. That he was the one that killed Dio. He was able to remove his armor and let it be there. And while we weren't looking, he went to kill Dio. While his armor was still there, making us think that he was still inside the lounge. Oh god, don't tell me that that is true. Then that would mean... Dio's killer is... I coaxed as much strength as I could from my increasingly lethargic body. And crawl toward K. K, wake up! Come on, talk to me. I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. Please, K. I, I trust you. I know that you are a good person deep inside. Why the hell would you do something like this? If it's true. I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had. So you took the other door. After you went the long way around through the warehouse and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. Yeah... I mean, Sigma and Phi were outside the lounge. And you took the other door, long way around. And while Phi and Sigma entered the lounge once again and saw K's armor, K was actually outside. That is why we heard that noise as well. That was K running to the elevator. Or probably the other way around, when he came back. He knew that Phi and Sigma were inside, and he couldn't enter. So he probably distracted Sigma and Phi with that sound so that they could go outside. And thus, he would take the long way around once again, and get inside his armor. I bumped into Phi, and went back to the lounge to, to check on you. We saw you. Or we saw your armor, I guess. By then, you would have been out of it. While we were in the lounge, you went to the treatment room and killed Dio. You must have turned off the oxygen to his pod. Although you probably didn't stick around to make sure he died. I'm betting you were in a hurry to get back before Fi and I noticed something was up. Once you got back to floor A, you needed a solid the lounge, so you made a noise in the hole to lure us out. Oh my god. Then you ran around and took the long way back to the lounge so you could enter through the, the rear door. And once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. As soon as we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you expected. Kay, wake up! Something's happened. You pretended to wake up, very disoriented and confused. What is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? <clears throat> yes. Why? Your reasoning is correct. I... I killed him. Why? Because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. Of course. That old woman. And we learned that it was Dio that killed her, but... Do you even realize what you had done? It is because of this that you and Sigma are going to die. 
I mean, you could have killed Dio. You could have killed Dio. Yeah, but why did you have to break the bracelet as well? You, you didn't have to do that. I couldn't. Who did he kill? The the old woman. What? She was like mother to me. She showed me how to see how to see meaning in my life. Wait, are you saying? Yes, I am. She was the woman who came here when I was 18. Whoa, hold on. What do you mean here? Sigma. Unfortunately, we are out of time. There's something I have to tell you. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? Yes. This is very important. Okay, well, what is it? You must pay attention. You cannot forget. Forget? He wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I be remembering anything for more than a few seconds? Oh, he knows. He, he surely knows a lot more than we do. He knows what is going on here. If you see a lion with two heads devouring the sun, remember, remember these letters. A lion with two heads, remember these letters. M-I-L-K-E-V-O-L. M I L K E V O L I. Okay. This will open the second gate. What the hell? The second gate? Well, the, la the last time we got a code like that, they said that it was for a bomb. And now you're giving me a code like this for our second... Kate? Hey! Kay! Who told you to tell me this? No. Who are you? Show me! Show me who you really are! Grab the hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. What? Sigma? What? No, that's... That's impossible. That face. It's... It's my face. A clone? Or... No, this, this can't be... Don't tell me that they are pulling time traveling into this as well. Okay, is actually Sigma? I felt a sharp pain in my left wrist, and my body collapsed unceremoniously. And the second drug. Tuberculin. My vision began to blur, and my health felt unnaturally heavy. And the world faded away, and my consciousness slipped down into the cold. Dark waters of nothingness.
All right. Well, another day in the non-nerdy game. And, uh, well, I am actually gonna dedicate this little part over here to doing a little bit of a recap in order for us to refresh our memories of what happened thus far in this uh, in this series and all that not just mine but also yours because some of you who have never played this game before watch this and this is your first time at this point it's more than likely that you're gonna be a little like memories of timelines are gonna be a little blended in so to speak and that's the case for me as well so let's see about what we have done thus far and what we're gonna do from here on out so from what i remember we uh we started with the blue with the the cyan door right and then we went pro more than likely in this direction of some sorts let me see about some endings over here from what i remember this was uh, this particular timeline over here to the farthest to the right it is when we had that whole ordeal with uh, Phi, when we allied with her and then we betrayed her and then we allied once again so that we could uh, convince her to stay after after she got nine points and all that. And, uh, well, we also talked about um, some stuff with Phi, about these powers that we have of looking into different timelines and all that, and this is where we pretty much stopped to to the question who planted the bomb which we still cannot really do that we were in the infirmary and uh we were all there and uh, we decided to investigate the whole bomb thing and see who is the actual person that put all these bombs and well we still cannot do that we still don't have the right information this right over here let me see about this where did alice go ah yeah this is uh in the timeline when uh, alice uh, actually betrayed us from what i remember and uh, after that we had to ally and after we allied she she ran away and uh, she confessed to us about the mistake that she did and she w she was apologizing and then we got that backstory from hers from her or actually hold on is this actually it no, nah, it was actually this one, this particular timeline here. I was about to say, I didn't really betray here, but here we have betrayed and also allied. We allied and then we got the, the game over, but now we betrayed and now the question is, what is the long string of numbers? And that is a good question. Yeah, but, <laughs> I don't know, we did ask that. I guess we're going to have to learn about the string of numbers from a totally different timeline. That is one of the reasons why... We got stuck here, and we had to move on to a different timeline. What about this one, though? Like, what the, what is this about? Who planted the bomb? Who planted the bomb? It seems pretty similar, but... Nah, I don't remember. Where did Alice go? Hmm. Yeah, I honestly don't remember this particular... No, wait, hold on a second. This is, uh, like, uh, where um, we had that cut uh, wound in our hands, and it was all white and stuff. We allied, and then uh, we talked with um, with uh, Luna about some stuff. And then, uh, yeah, it is kind of the same thing. Here we have uh, Clover's ending, like this is Clover's route of some sort. And you know how that ended up. <laughs> Here we have hmm, five minutes of life. Okay, this is the part where we ended on that note where we got injected with um, with the soporil and such, and that we were almost close to dying. This is because of Dio being an ass, and uh, you know, hmm. Now here's the thing, though. I was thinking of actually, you know, choosing betray in order to do some of this stuff but given the fact that we also got like a like a obstacle over here like a some sort of a lock that we cannot go through it makes me question it makes me think that this is actually the route that i should be taking if there is one lock in one route then more than likely the other route would have uh, a bad ending and uh, given the fact that it is also betrayal and such and which would lead me to a bad ending, I decided, well, I'm not going to do it. 
So instead of that, I focused on this. And the same thing goes for right over here. There is a lock over here, which is which is one of the reasons why I don't want to do the betrayal thing. Not to mention that I don't want, I don't want to betray in the first place, which more than likely would get me to the bad ending as well. All right, and uh, well, here we have Tenmyoji's ending right over here. Here, um. Well, in order to get to, to this particular path over here, we have to betray Luna. And, well, you know how I feel about that one. So, the only thing that I that I can do right now, especially since we got the case ending, would be to just continue over here and do the, do the next door. Because we unlocked, we got K's ending, but it doesn't seem like we've opened like any other locks so far. We haven't opened this lock, neither this or this or this like there is no lock that we can you that we can go to in order to do this so the only thing i can do right now is go for right away here so yeah that is exactly what i'm gonna be doing right now so let's get to it uh, another day in the nonary game i swallowed i alice and i Will. All right. I think I remember doing something. Actually, given the fact that, well, I think I already talked about this before, but we can go to a different door right now. But it also gives us like a third option to go through the red door with Clover, which I think it is uh, the other the other route over here that we can that we can go through because as you can notice on the other routes for example for the yellow door we got green you yeah, blue red and green blue green and red and i think it's the same thing over here but hmm. actually let me see about going through the red door with clover let me see about some something else and i will take clover and go through the red no. door I cannot allow you to do that. Yeah. God damn it, Kay. We don't have time for this. Choose a different door. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I guess that signals the fact that we cannot go and do the third option. We can only do that if we <laughs> if we do the previous A B round and betray Luna. I didn't think I could force my way past him, and I knew I didn't have the time to try. Shit. There were two doors left for me to choose from. But which one? Alright, well, let's go through the green door with Luna. Come on, Luna. Let's go. Alice. Luna. The green door. Right. I'm coming. Alright, let's see. They both took off for the door. And I followed behind that run. I glanced back over my shoulder. In time to see the others head into their respective doors. Fideo and Kate ducked into the red door. Just as Tenmyoji Kate quarked through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Okay, also, um, <laughs> sorry if I'm if I keep uh, going to the chart over here, but here's something that I have been thinking of. Where was it exactly? There was that one time, uh, yeah, five minutes of life when uh, we had that ordeal with Dio to choose ally so that uh, we can uh, we can get the medicine however sigma is not off the hook cuz he's going to die in 5 in 5 minutes or so at least uh, that's what i remember but the thing is i was thinking of the neo mean right over here we could use the neo mean in order to save uh, sigma's life so it makes me question why we cannot do this as well. I was thinking about this and maybe it's because we haven't really found the Neostig mean. And even if somebody were to find the Neostig mean, we wouldn't even know who did that. So it kind of sucks. I don't know. Alright, well, where are we going now? 
Whoa. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. You know, this reminds me. Haven't we been with uh, Alice and Luna specifically in the garden as well? Now we have our old team once again. Let's see through what door we're gonna go through here. What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Yeah, might as well. All right, easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of the time when uh, when Alice and Sigma were fighting each other over here, and uh, Luna was the one that pulled the lever, <laughs> giggling and all that. Huh? Yeah, look at the door on the right. It opened. All right, that doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. It still kind of makes me question about this. I mean... Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. All right, all right. Fine, ladies. Come on. I'm going. I'm just thinking about some stuff over here. I mean, I, I, initially I thought that there was some sort of a deal with that stuff, but lately... Golden Bay. Okay, well, this is new. I don't think I've heard of this before. Or maybe I did, but I guess I don't remember. But either way, as time went on, I didn't think as much about that uh, about that lever thing. Like, it kind of depends on who is pulling the lever that, that we're going to go for specific doors. Hmm, what is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. Ah, oh, wait, hold on a second. I think I remember this place. We visited this place at some point with K. He, yeah, he took that uh, key uh, from uh, from the safe, and he was able to open his armor with that. This was the place. Okay. If you say so, we should split up and search it. We need to find um key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes, they should be somewhere in this room. All right. Let's get to it. Alright, another escape room. Let's get to it. Let's get cracking. Now I don't care about the about the time for this one, but uh, I do wanna do this as fast as possible. So where should we even begin? This is the door. This is the exit. I mean yeah. this is where we came from. What are you doing? This is where we came in through. There's no point to going back out of it. There's no point going back out of it. All you're going to find is the closed chromatic door. You do know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Alright, so what is this? We're gonna have to put something inside this. What's this thing? Eh, shaped like a star. Maybe you need to put something into it. Something that's shaped like a star, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm, totally. Yeah, look at this robot over here. A greedy version of a CP Frio. <laughs> what the heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. Ha ha ha! Very funny, Alice. What? Anyway, you look at it. It's a robot. Then maybe it's a robot. There's, there's no maybe about it. I can only imagine it's anything else. You're kidding, right? That's insane, <laughs> Alice. Oh, what do you think it is? Just a, a mermaid mannequin. <laughs> All right, that was a little bit weird. A roboty, a roboty thing. I don't think it's just a crash test dummy or something like that. What is this thing though? Chevron block? Chevron? What is that? And a radio? Radio. Let's see. Can we examine this? It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why don't you try turning it on? Yeah, well, I tried that. Nothing happens. Maybe the batteries are dead? Hmm. What is it? I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the side here. So you're saying it needs a power cable? Yeah, more than likely. Alright, what about this little thing over here? Oh, what is this? 
It looks kinda like a hexagon if you flip to one of the corner corners in. I mean, technically it is still a hexagon, but... <laughs> I mean, if we completed it, I guess. With something else. Can we do anything with this robot? No. What about this thing? On top. Nah. And this is the save. There's a button over here. Huh. There's a button up here. And then maybe you should press it. Right. Here it goes. Boo! Oh god, what, what have we done? We have unleashed Judgment Day! Look! It's eyes! They're glowing red. Does that mean it's on? A robot thing. It's been powered on, but it hasn't done so so much as Twitch. Then again, it's not like I want it to Twitch. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. What about this thing on top of it? I mean, there's something connected to the robot. Hmm. Alright, well, let's hear about some stuff around here. There's a button over here. Does this button seem suspicious? Yeah. Most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible. But this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a plate with black and yellow stripes? I couldn't scream, don't press me any louder if it said, don't press me on it. Is it a self-destruct button? Well, maybe the moment we press it, we'll hear a soft hiss, and then the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? I don't know, that seems a little. <laughs> yeah! Yep. Luna! <laughs> you daredevil of a woman. Hey, 